All right, in this video presentation, we're going to take a look at converting a 2D a DWG mechanical template that contains uh, several layouts, size for A, B, C, and D. And we're going to open this in our SolidWorks program and convert it to a SolidWorks drawing template. So we're going to walk through all the steps here. Now you can see on the website, we've got a link here to your basic mechanical template, which is in DWG format. Go ahead and click on that. You'll be prompted to download. And what I will ask you to do is to download it to your uh, project folder. You can see here, I've got my module one folder, drawing challenge two folder, and there's a copy of my mechanical template in DWG format. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create, ultimately, a SolidWorks drawing template. So starting first with our DWG, we're going to go through the process of converting to SolidWorks. So for that, let's jump over here to SolidWorks and we'll start with open. Okay. Again, here's the project folder and here's the template. If you do not see the DWG file, double check here your file type. Right now it's set to all files, but you can also focus it to find just DWG files and then make your selection. So what you're doing is you're opening the file and now you have the DXF DWG import wizard. The first thing you, you want to do here is you want to make sure that you're going to convert this to a new SolidWorks drawing. We also want to convert all of the entities to SolidWorks entities. Make your selection here and then continue to the next screen. At this screen, what you're doing here is you're uh, mapping the drawing layers. What we want to do here is we want to make sure for each layout that you see down here in the preview, we want to make sure that we go layout by layout and map the layers for sheet format. So first we're going to select layer 0 and then all of the TB related layers. This is all information that contains title block entities. All right. You'll do this for each layout. So select layer selected for sheet format. Here's layer zero, and then all of the TB layers. And you'll do that for each one of those layouts. So here's layout C size. Let's go ahead and do that one. And then finally, our D size here. Make sure we have layer selected for sheet format. Now, once you've got that completed, you could go back and review just to make sure everything is selected the way you want it. Okay, now we go on to the next screen. And in this next screen, we'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at the document settings. We're, we're basically setting up the page setup for each layout. So you want to make sure that we're using inches and then choose the correct paper size for each layout. Also, make sure uh, that you set your drawing scale. If you want, just leave it one to one. You can do this later. And make sure we position it centered on the sheet. So here's our ANSI A landscape. You can see it's selected there, paper size. And what we want here is centered. And then we go on to the next one. This is portrait. Select the right paper size, center, go on to the next one. B size landscape and centered. And here's the next one. We want C size landscape, one to one and centered. And then finally, our D sheet here. Set that paper size correctly and center it as well. Once again, you'll want to review each of these layouts to make sure everything's correct. You don't want to have to start from scratch all over again. And once you've confirmed all your settings, then go ahead, click on finish to convert your DWG to SOLIDWORKS format. 